If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all having a blessed day. It's the weekend. Spend time with your friends and family. Eat a lot of good food, but stay safe. Today we're going to go over the best MLB The Show 21 stub making tips as far as in the game right now and then investments leading up to the next roster update which they push back to next Friday. But if you're new to the channel, don't be a hater your whole life. Drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Also, we got new merchandise that is live down in the description right now. If you are a supporter and you get it, make sure you take a picture, send it to me on either Twitter or Instagram so I can put you in the next video. But shout out to the MVPs that helped this channel grow. We are on the road to 10K. Shout out to the MVP elites, Dexter, Panita, and Raymond Edwards. Today's shout outs for the regular MVP is going to be John Panzilla. We're going to do TBNV. Titan, we're gonna do little PCP, and we also gonna do a shout out to Anish Coding. If you wanna be an MVP, all you gotta do is drop a like on the video, be subscribed. Don't be a hater, your whole life is not good for you. Let's get into today's stub method. Look good, feel good. That's the key to life. Go down in the link in the description and get your merchandise today. Use code MVP10 for 10% off your order from today through August 2nd. We got fresh and fly gear, every single flavor, t-shirts, v-necks, hoodies, leggings for the ladies. Anything that you need is down in the link in the description. Shout out to all the MVPs, roll to 10K. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go over is what cards on the marketplace is hot right now. The hottest cards on the market right now that I was flipping is this 86 Walker Bueller, this 86 Joe Musgrove. As you can see, it's a 1700 gap right there that's gonna give you 900 to 1000 profit every single time. Very good gaps at these 86 overalls. Now, a card that I was buying that was actually selling to me real fast was this Clayton Kershaw. I went and bought like six or seven of these. You can get them for under 5,100 and then you can resell them back for 66 to 6,800 and that's gonna give you 850 to 1,100 in stubs every single time. So I can go right here and I can make a profit. I can go back to sell because I bought a couple of them. I can go to 6,599, I can sell them back and that will give me a 900 to 1100 profit. So I had already bought a couple of these. I'm gonna let his buy now price go back to about 6650, 6700, which you just gotta be patient. Every half an hour, they either go down and then they shoot back up to the regular price once these ones on the left are taken out. You can see some are at 6700, 6779, 6783 on that left hand side. So you put orders in, it's gonna be one or two that is low balling. I just sold mine for a lower price so it can go faster and then the higher prices will start coming back up. So I'm gonna hold the other five. But you can see in the right hand corner, he sold in the first what? 17 to 18 seconds they are flying off of the market you are going to make in about 20 minutes easily 35 to 45 or 50 thousand stubs using this right now before everybody else gets the method now we're going to go back to 84 and live series and then right now you can see freddy peralta is still hovering in that 4,000 range galagos is in that 33 Galagos is in that mid 3300 range. But remember, when I made the video a few days ago, I was getting Galagos for 2058, 2078. Right now, the lowest you can buy him at is 2700. Okay? So that's already a 650 to 700 gap. Whether I sell them today or any of you that invested sell them today, you are making a lot of profit. Every single card that you sell is probably 
between 950 and 12 and 1300 profit for every single card that you have and i have about 55 to 58 of these so that is 170 to 180,000 stubs that i can put in my back pocket if y'all been following the channel y'all should have all this insight also now a card that you need to keep an eye on a close eye on is this aj pollock 78 overall i think i have him in the 80 to 85% chance of getting an upgrade. He's playing up to an 81 overall right now, and you can get him for very, very cheap still. His price is slowly rising as far as buying them, but you can look down in the bottom right, and you can see 327, 330, 331, 332. Put in a few orders for 328, right between that gap of 328 and 330, and get them. Now, you might not get them the first day, but we have a whole nother week before the roster update and his price is just gonna keep inflating because the boy has been putting the bat on the ball go in and put in about 15 to 20 orders at 328 to 329 don't worry about what the sale price says right here put them in and eventually they will work their way out and you will have them in your binder if he gets the upgrade like he's supposed to that's gonna be an easy 20 to 30,000 stubs extra that you would make and you were only been to put about six to 7,000 investment into this card. But in his past 10 games, he has 15 hits and he has four home runs over the past 10 games. So that's kind of like Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo in the past 15 games, right before the roster update, he had like eight or nine home runs, but this guy in 10 games have 15 hits. So they're gonna have to move his contact way up probably on both sides now this segura is another sneaky investment now i got a lot of these but i get them at lower price right now 1125 is too expensive so go to the buy sell options right here and you can see down in the bottom right hand corner they got 1060 1070 1073 so you put a number in between any of them that's less than 1090 okay you can see 1100 somebody have 13 of them investments put in now it's a chance that he goes diamond that's gonna be a 35 to 3700 profit no matter what but with the way that he's playing he's lacking the home run power but with the way that he's playing it's a chance that closer to next friday since they moved the roster update back he should be sitting at at least 2800 to 33 3400 and if he starts hitting more home runs he will get around 37 3800 and hover around that area that would be over a 2000 profit on every single one of your investments so go put in some for 1063 1065 1067 anything like that after you drop a like on the video because i'm giving y'all some secret stuff Bo Bichette was another investment that I told y'all about, but if you this far in the video, drop a like on the video. We don't do none of that hater stuff. Now, Bo Bichette has been cooling off, so I'm going to always give y'all an update on when to either cash out your cards or when to hold your card for the long haul, and right now, he's been cooling off the past couple games. He's not been hot like he was early in July, so what I would do is let his height build up to around 34 3500 being that we would get him in the 1000s 1700 1800 you can sell him off in the next 48 hours you don't want his price to all the way tank under this 3250 what it is so if the hype builds up another 250 to 300 stubs and you have i would say 25 to 30 of them go take 15 of them cash out in the next 48 hours and then sit back and see if he ups his game again now if he doesn't get the upgrade remember you don't want to miss out on full potential of stub making because if he doesn't get upgraded he will go all the way back to 16 17 1800 stubs and then that's the amount that you were probably buying them for and you're going to break even you're not going to be making any stubs so you can hold on to them pay attention to this channel know when to cash out on certain players ask me any question down below shout out to all the mvps that keep this channel rocking and make sure that you get some of the merchandise man we got the hoodies we got the stuff for the ladies we got the t-shirts for the boys we got the t-shirts for your friends i got merchandise coming right now that i'm gonna be wearing fresh and fly on the channel if y'all get any of the merchandise make sure that you send me a screenshot or a picture so i can put y'all on the channel if y'all rocking with me i got y'all let's get it